up, everybody? This is Fiery Fire, and welcome back to another TWLD broadcast between Sweet and Skate. As we get this underway, mid-quarter action, 17 minutes to go. Skate 29-26, and Scoop right now is shooting up at Riverside, but Riverside getting out of the way. So good job there, avoiding the snipe from Scoop. Creature there getting a kill right there. So 9-6 for Creature, Scoop 10-2, uh, and two, leading the pack. And what I'm going to do is for LD matches coming up, I'm going to obviously... Now, just be focusing on the MVPs of the match at the moment, since they're obviously uh, they're probably the hottest at the moment and have the most kills with most deaths and have been involved in the more exciting action scenes throughout the match. That way, you can get the viewer you know involved because if you're watching someone who strays half the game, it's not as exciting as if you have someone like up close and personal with people in the screen actually and you know doing work and doing damage. Sakura getting out of the way from creature, so missed timing right there. Scoop shooting down, flank that base man and ease. So what uh, Sweet needs to do now is regroup and recollect and get back in order because Skate is obviously, you know, they figured that out pretty early. And so they have a, a four kill lead at the moment with uh, Scoop shooting down. So we're coming out and I, I expect, I didn't expect Scoop to, to come out with such a brilliance and dom to dominate everyone's early on, um, you know, because 10, 10 and 2 at this point is, you know, that means he's been doing some work. He's been doing some DD practice, but if he hasn't been practicing, you know, it is Scoop and I don't... I'm not surprised why he's doing well. He's always been a good warbird. So good job for Skate inserting him into the starting lineup. It's been paying off. Both the creature and Scoop leading the way. Scoop right there picking off Sakura with uh, Riverside on nine. So let's uh, kind of keep a tab on Riverside to see how well he does because if uh, Riverside goes out prematurely, like before the 10 minute mark, the game can, is basically over because Skate has enough warbirds, solid warbirds on the field at the moment to kind of not give away the 5 on 4 advantage and uh, they also have the lead at the moment so it's an uphill battle for Sweet to stay alive and get kills while you're trying to run and stay alive because at 9 you know you're going to be hunted if you even fire out of position everyone's going to turn on you. Burn taking out Dak so Burn uh, not having uh, a typical you know static burn game as I expect creature uh, destroying Vash right there. Regen missing it right in the middle so that's a misfire right there because he's out of position, backing off, and he hasn't doing anything. Oh, but Vash cuts across and take, takes out Creature. So good job right there. Good awareness to kind of help out the teammate. And because Creature was focused on one thing, and Vash just swooped across as it's easy to take, picked off Sakura there. Creature trying to stay um, out of radar. So let's pan back to Scoop right now. So I'm F4ing on Creature, and but my main target is on Scoop. So good job with the hesitation dodge right there. The rush stop and picking off regen with a good snipe. And oh yeah, again, 2-4-2, two, two, two shots, two kills. So Scoop is basically a killing machine at the point. So you want to get out of the way. Don't fight them one on one if you're sweet at this moment. If you're sweet, you just want to run and maybe shoot someone else like... I don't know, someone who's struggling at the moment, but definitely not Scoop or Creature, because they're just going to roll you. And right there, 3-4-3. Three three. Uh, well, not 3-4-3, three three, but you know, let's just count 3-4-3 three three, since it's you know, within a short amount of time between kills. So good job. Creature, Vash taking out regen, and, and, and um, you know, Vash avenging on Creature. So Base Man going up, exchanging blows, along with Ease taking out Dak. As we're seeing uh, uh, Skate right now pull away, it's 44-32. It, it was plus 4, now it's plus 8. Oh, well, plus... Uh, I think it's 11 actually. Sorry, I can't do math at the, m the moment. Too early in the morning. But Scuba chasing down Riverside knows that he has to take on 9. Base Man dying out already. So at this point, you know, like what, what can happen? Can the, you know, the in inevitable comeback come? Or was it just a food for thought? Sakura dying out the creature. And, and, and I guess uh, the game is basically over. Plus five, oh, 5 more kills for Skate in order to finish it. Riverside doing what he can. I'm surprised he's still alive at this point. You know, after his teammates already died out, I mean, they should have obviously just try to stay alive as long as possible. Ease picking off Dak at the last second. Riverside trying to take out Creature right there and gets exposed, but no one's following up on Riverside for the 9. But Scoop does. Scoop with awareness, picking off Riverside, so good job with Scoop there. And yeah, overall MVP at the match, in my opinion. Uh, Creature obviously showing uh, the support, the good one-two punch, setting the tone for Skate this uh, week for the LD victory. It's a good uh, matchup, too. Both teams were... Uh, I think number one and number two respectively in the TWLD leagues when they faced off. So now I don't know if they are anymore. I haven't checked the TW uh, ladder uh, sites uh, recently, but you know the st I expect them to come out with blaze uh, guns blazing come playoff time because you know, now they know how each team is going to match up against them, who's been playing well against what, 
And it's gonna be turn. It's gonna be for some exciting TWLD Warbird playoff stuff. So excited to see if that happened. I don't know about regular season games anymore. And uh, but I do appreciate guys like uh, Scoop for making it interesting. You know, definitely Mitro had been having uh, consecutive good weeks there, and it's been very exciting. So as Skate uh, tracks down the last, uh, the last of them. Bash! Oh, taking out Ease and Scoop missing right there. So the game is prolonged. Bash thinking, you know, can he come back at this point? Can he make a, a 13 kill run? I don't know. So your bets, your call, audience, your call. Bash trading off with Scoop. So good awareness there that, you know, he's almost like about to die. And you rather trade off at this point and just get the game done and going and prepare for your next uh, TWL match at the moment. So right now you're seeing a skate group up, flanking, trying to uh, hunt down the last, very last. Bash doing what he can. Good effort from Bash, but no cigar for him. Um, uh, his teammates weren't able to, I guess, play as well. So this it does take a team effort because if you have a player going, you know, 4 or 10, 5 or 10, you know, that's going to be a uh, strain on you to come back. But hopefully they can rebound next week. Each week's a different week, and, you know, different players do well different weeks. Uh, Bash doing what he can, extending this off, making my life tough, uh, making this drawn out for the last couple. Scoop going down, missing once, dodging twice. And, but then Scoop with the full energy, tracking down, waiting for Vash to shoot and going in. So you, you can't expect probably a trade-off at this point. Or, you know, Vash doesn't want, he wants to be able to extract food from the water. Does not get so and dies out. So good job for Skate finishing this game with a good MVP there. And until next time, FFL.